How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about coming out as an adult. No, no, not coming out as an adult. <laughs> Imagine if you had to do that. Coming out as queer while being an adult. Because as I get older, I realize I actually have more friends now who've come out as queer during their adulthood than knowing they were queer since a very young age. And even for most of us that I know that have known that we are queer since we were very young, we realize more things about our queerness as we get older. Like for me, I knew since I was like as young as like five years old that I liked girls. I just knew that about myself. But then as I get older, not only did I realize that I like girls, I t kind of like everyone. <laughs> so I don't really have a preference on who I like. And also I realized my gender identity as an ad adult too. So even though I knew I was queer per se, when I was around five years old, I realized more things about my gender identity as I got older, predominantly in my late teens, then I realized my sexuality isn't just attraction to women, I'm just, attracted to everyone, preferably people who present a little bit more feminine. But the one thing I notice among my friends who do realize that, that they're queer as an adult and who end up coming out, especially my friends who identify as bisexual and are already in heterosexual relationships coming out, there's a form of guilt there. There's a form, uh, there's a feeling that they have when I talk to them that like they, they feel fake, that they don't feel like they're actually queer and that they're experience is not valid and it's a little bit self-deprecating but I, I do understand why there's that doubt there about themselves and that's because of like this rhetoric that we have pushed on the fact that everybody who's queer knows that they're queer since they're really young it fights against the bias that people had that we choose to be gay and that's why we've really really pushed in the queer community that everybody is born queer we know since birth that we are queer but that doesn't necessarily mean that your experience is not valid coming out as an adult or if you're already in a heterosexual relationship you're still queer and i think a lot of it also has to do with the phobia among bisexuality in the queer community that still exists because of historically um when we're younger and we have messy relationships, even as queer people, queer people get messy relationships too, similar to straight relationships. There might be infidelity involved. There might be people playing with each other's feel feelings involved and people get hurt based on whoever they're attracted to, their sexual preferences. And that manifests into biphobia. Another huge guilt factor that I see in adults who come out as queer is that they feel bad that they never got the stereotypical magic-esque high school queer experience that people who realize when they're younger get to experience being queer in high school having those messy relationships not being able to be in in queer relationships until later in life and also as they're an adult they feel weird about getting into a queer relationship because they don't have that much experience having intimate relationships with other queer people because all they've had is sex with heterosexual identifying people but i want to say at the end of the day none of that matters really none of it matters you are queer you are valid in being queer and you should never feel ashamed for coming out as queer later in life to be honest i feel like that's what makes being queer amazing because the queer community has always been known to be accepting why should we gatekeep who's more queer and who's more who's more valid in their queerness based on when they come out every person's experience coming out is unique in their own way i mean even for me i've known people who knew they were queer since they were like 12 or 13, came out at that time, had accepting parents, and was out to the entire world about being queer. While on the other hand, even though I knew I was queer when I was really young, I had a lot of guilt because I was in secret relationships all up until I came out when I was like 22, 23 years old. And my partners at the time, you know, they had a different experience. Like I dated someone who was out to her parents and her parents accepted her. 
and I felt guilty that I didn't have that really queer experience as someone who knew who was queer very young because my experience was different. So you, everyone is going to feel guilt in some way or form. That's, I, that's I, honestly what I think society has told queer people they should feel, which is not true at all. Your experiences are valid. Your identity is valid. And you should wear it with pride. There's nothing to be guilty about at least in my eyes, you're just as queer as me. And even if you've just realized you're queer and you've never had a queer relationship before, you're still just as queer as I am, honestly. So never feel ashamed for being who you are. I wanted to make this video because I just had so many friends who came out in their mid to late 20s and who were like, oh my god, I feel so fake. Man, Ben, you've been out for so long. You've gone through so much. And like, I'm here coming out as an adult. My parents basically have to accept me and I'm just independent i haven't had that struggle but that none of that matters at the end of the day because you're still queer i mean yes i i may have experienced more oppression who cares that's a different experience right that's a different individual experience that i've had and people are going to have privileges i have privileges in other settings in my life so don't ever let anybody make you feel bad for who you are your sexuality or whatever relationship that you're in even if you are in a straight relationship and you're queer, you're still queer. All right, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you feel validated if you've been searching for a video that validates what you've been going through right now in your life. And um, I hope you'll share it with this with someone who may benefit from this video. And um, that's it for, uh, for, 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 this, for this content. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life, activism work and shenanigans. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This has been.